Hey, we're back. We got this beautiful Dynotech. For whatever reason, Jerry got a single fire. Single fire ignition. So we got two single coils, baby. So I'm gonna have to make a bracket or something for these. We got that thing. And we got throttle addiction, wiring harness. But this thing comes with comes with some stuff comes with some stuff and things oh it even comes with an ignition look at that we'll have to make an ignition bracket for somewhere i tend to just put kill switches on them uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's gotta be the positive for the battery that i don't know what it is don't know what these are don't know what that's for i really don't understand this wiring harness that they have sent us it does not appear to make a whole lot of sense to me so again i'll have to look this up to see what this is even supposed to fucking be but i mean this isn't fucking long enough to do anything with this is not very long this is probably for the ignition i'm guessing maybe i'll run the headlight wire up from the bottom there instead of up through the top that might be the way to do it because we already got these long ass wires here yep 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 we need to take off that cover we're gonna take this air hose off I don't think we really need air. Kill that. So I found a diagram. Um, so we're going to get the gas tank wrestled up here. Wrestled and wrangled. Here's the ignition. We got to use this guy. This might be a pain in the ass because I fear I'm going to have to take this whole side cover off. We'll see. We'll start by undoing this thing. Oh. Jiminy Christmas, the flathead daddy. Boom. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we are going to uh, cut that. Cut that off. Not the appropriate wire cutter, but better than hustling around trying to find. <sighs> Boom. Stock garbage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I got to feel, I got to feel that it goes like that. Because I wouldn't think, yeah, it's got to go like that. Got to go like that. Start. Okay. Yeah. So, the front end. Here's what we have found out. Here we have a new replacement stock three-quarter axle. And what had happened was, in the long run, we do have an earlier and a later model leg. No biggie. We're going to get our buddy Pook. He's going to, Pookie's going to make us a little bushing to go in between. It's a very small spot it'll be fine that's totally acceptable what happened was jerry got a wheel that had spool hub 5 8 bearings in it they make a three-quarter bearing he did not have the three-quarter bearing he had the 5 8 so instead of the proper thing to have done would be to go oh okay i will pop these bearings out and i'm going to get a set of the three-quarter bearings to put in there instead what happened was i'm not going to beat around the bush uh at anchor moto ricky shaved down the stock axle more than what it needed to be so he shaved it down to being five eighths jammed it through had no bushing had nothing in on the other side of the leg and the front end was just free floating on one end so I don't know if the intent was, I'm gonna deal with that later. I don't know, that's not the appropriate thing to do at all. So now we are going to replace the axle and make it correct and we're gonna get bearings. I have to go down the street to the bearing shop and get new bearings that go in that front wheel and then we'll be three quarter. It's that simple. It's to shave this down. Not a machine, it's just a dude with a lathe in his garage, not me measuring tools in his shop. I dare call it a shop at this point but he just shaved it down more than what it needed to be. And it's uh, not great. Yeah, because this is the same axle for 80, FXR, Dyna, and Sportster, 87 to 99, 39 millimeter, all the same. So a simple bearing fix would have solved that issue. You know, two bearings, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, math, probably cheaper. And then you're talking half hour to an hour to pop the, it's a brand new wheel. Like the, the bearings will pop right out and the new ones will pop right in. They're sealed bearings, so. But let's find, our gas tank shit here. Get out the box. Headlight. Anyways, we have two ignition switches. Oh, there's an ignition switch tab. That'll work. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, here's what I'm looking for the box of Jerry part. Okay. All right. We got our gas tank. We got a decently soft surface. We're going to put a little thread sealant on these threads. They say to use this stuff. I still feel like it needs a uh, flat washer, but I might be wrong. I don't like these petcocks at all. Not a fan. I don't even know if these fucking petcocks are gonna work on here. 
No, it's gonna work. Okay, but we'll see. Cut to minute one of me putting gas in the thing. It's just gonna fucking dump out. <laughs> I'm really trying hard not to cuss, but man, is it hard for me. God, these are so stupid. These need to be different. They look so dumb. I don't know why we have two pet cocks. I'm just gonna text Jerry and tell him that his pet cocks are gay. Okay. I believe these are the correct bolts. No, they are not. Oh, here they are. Double, double leather washers. Let's see. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. There we go. Gas tank's on. We gotta smelt it down, wipe it off. I'll have to hit this all with the polisher again after it's all done and put together. I don't even think I have a gas cap. I think I have one at my house. There we go. Look at that. All right, there we have her. What is this ignition switch? Yeah, that one ain't gonna work with that kit we got. I feel like I have to use this guy. Custom Chrome. But I think this thing, it does indeed. Bolts right up here. The stator dater. Maybe this does not, oh yeah. No, that definitely bolts up there. Boom. So we should have some Allen heads for that somewhere. Somewhere. That might be over here. Here's our fuel line. That's our exhaust bolt. Mm-hmm. I feel like I don't have all the hardware. All right, we got some hardware for this dude. We're gonna bolt her back on. Boom. Mm. Okay. I don't know where that's supposed to go. We'll let her hang for now. Okay, progressing. Okay, we have to grab a couple of wrenches. Still don't know why all this fluid is coming out of here. All right, we're gonna loosen this guy up. We gotta try to see if we can get this out. I don't know which way. Oh, there we go. Pop this guy out. Oh yeah, this is totally not the right lever. Let's see if this will work. Up through there, just like that. Yeah, this is totally not gonna... Oh! We got the plug first, the vent, and we're going to put a little pipe thread dope on it. This is gonna be a 7 16th. Ooh! That's brakes. Let's see here. All right, all right. We got our bushing. We got the little rubber guy with the sleeve. Boom. Okay. Gotta find the nut. Here's the nut. Well, what the fudge? There we go. All right, we got rubbers and regular washers. Where's my Allen heads? Son of guns. Oh, it's all coming together. And it looks perfect timing, Pride Month, baby. Most people like to say this one's for the boys. Jerry prefers to shout his out to the lady boys. Oh, are these too fucking long? All right. Oh, yeah, tight. This is maybe not the best bolt system for the front here. We gonna have to get a regular bolt. We ain't gonna be able to use it. This thing, son of bitches. Now we get this bolt tightened. Mmm, I tight. So we got this hose and we got this hose and neither one of them is fucking long enough, of course. All right, so we are vented. We are vented, vented out of our mind. Son of bitch. Which this is going to go down this way. We are going away from moving parts with this. I really think I might, I might go ahead and put the damn son of a bitch on. I might put the um, front exhaust on. But I'm starting to remember that maybe I don't have front uh, exhaust flange yet. So I have to see. Cause I can't put the back exhaust on yet until we get all this shit figured out. But that's easily done and I think that ignition we're gonna maybe bolt it off this battery box so it's down low on that side or we can maybe come off this bolt but we'll be getting tight there we will be getting tight there but it's starting to look pretty looks pretty primo right now I'm gonna take a brief pause need a half inch dang oh shit I got a crouch boom we're back we got a bag of goodies on a Sunday called up the doll bear bears highway classics He's not gonna answer for you on a Sunday, but I couldn't believe he answered for me on a Sunday. Nonetheless, we got we got all the things that we need. We got all kinds of goodies. We got new spark plugs, check. We got a new pet cock situation. We got oil line, check. Boom, we'll just open this bad boy up and put it on. Oil filler cap, look at that. Chrome daddy, boom, in the plug. Plugging the damn hole. Ooh, she's tight. There we go, look at that, chrome job. All right, we got one cap, one plug, and we got one fitting for, hopefully these are correct. Oh baby, oh baby they are. Damn, this will be solid. If we can get these, then I'll be able to put this cover on today. Oh no, did I get the wrong? Oh, we're just gonna do this with no goop on it to make sure, clean these threads out a little. Jabangi. I don't think I have a pipe thread tap this size. I might. 
It's just built up on the end there. I know I have one because I bought it for the damn transmission in the van. But where it is, no. Well, we'll just continue on with what we're doing. We'll put a little dope on here. It really don't go too far in there. Let me get it around once more and I'll feel comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Looky there. And we got this fucking hosing. We got fancy, uh, fancy ass clampers. Look at that fancy clamper. Boom. Oh yeah, so that's the other line I couldn't find right there. So that's the fill and that's the return. We're gonna have to ratchet that bad boy. Boom. Look at that. Side cutters. Of course, now my phone's ringing. Slight phone call interruption. All right, dang. Oil lining. The fucking lines have been oiled. Boom. We have been oil lined. Our lines have been oiled. All right, let's get the new spark plugs in. We'll get the new spark plugs put in. Plugged up. All right, champions. Champions. Champion plugs. Factory replacements. We got brake pads while we were there. We can stop. We got new wheel bearings. I want to get everything else pretty well knocked out. Then I'll put it on the jack and get the wheel bearings. But we're not far off here. We're like real close. Oh, man. Oh, no. That wasn't great. That wasn't great. Just broke off that fucking petcock. That's a whole situation we're going to have to get into. Gosh, dang it. Always something. We're putting the cap on this end this side's gonna get i don't think vice lords out here and see if we can't oh boy yay well that might have just fucked me i have never seen one of those snap right in half like that as the other one came right out all right well we won't mess with that now we can put we can clean this guy we'll get this boom see if we can find the i don't know if i even have those allen heads that go in there them are some long ass bolts boy well we're gonna have to find those i can't believe that motherfucker snapped off in there where are we at here well, we've managed to get some parts on, get the oil lines ran, so that's solid. I was gonna run the fuel line, but that's fucked. Let's get, let's get some exhaust out. I wanna see it with the exhaust on it. I gotta see this. Piping. I still can't, I'm super bummed that that thing just busted off in there, but it is what it is. Boom, old gaskets. Okay, all right, all right. We already got new flanges for these. We got our hardware, our brackets are still hanging on them. Oh, I didn't get new flanges. I got shitty old flanges. Damn it. They got new flanges when I was at Bears Highway Classics. Oh. Oh, there's all the wiring crap I was looking for. One exhaust semi on. Pull out the old guy. Put the new guy in. Man, I, I should have put hard lines on there and told Jerry to F it. F off, bud. No, I wouldn't say that to Jerry. I'm also just keep making up more difficult things I should have done. When I should be keeping it simple, stupid. As always, it doesn't take a genius to do any of this. If you're watching this, you can probably build one of these motorcycles. Oh man. Oof. Beating the shit out of everything. I'm trying to remember how the fuck I mounted this. Ooh, we got several tabbies here. I just don't remember. I believe, if I remember correctly, tight fit. Old tight fit Tanya. There was nothing tight about Tanya. Actually, I never dated a Tanya. Son of a bitch. I did not make this part easy to get done. Okay, calm down. Oh, they won't stick back down in there because the damn bike's tilted over so far there. Yeah, I for sure was using that. Oh. Bolt it up, baby. Oh. Fucking A. The dinging of the metal. Oh yeah, it's a motor scooty again. Holy fazolis. Shoboingi, whoa. There we go, that's enough for today. I've had quite the adventure. But we have the uh, gas tank on. Still have to get that broken petcock back out of it. That thing was a piece of shit, cheap Chinese shit. Look at that, we got the exhaust on this bad boy. Got a couple screws to get for that cover right there. That'll be good. We got the ignition in, so it's ready to wire when we do all that. Boom. We got the oil bag in, oil lines ran complete. Got the fancy, the fancy, the fancy clamps. Bear sold me on the fancy clamps. We got it all ready to wire. Next episode, we'll Next situation, we're gonna get the, uh, we're gonna get that wheel straightened out. Pookie's gonna make that spacer. The front end's done, put some oil in it. We gotta get the, I gotta get new bolts for the axle adjusters. 
Then that's done. We can lock those down. I should be able to add oil to the oil bag now. I got to hook up a brake line and do the wiring and the fuel line. Brake line, wiring, fuel line. That's it. And we're rocking and rolling. Shout out again to the homie bear. You guys, if you need service work in the Kansas City area, again, holler at Bears. Highway Classics, go get you a shirt. He's got these cool shovel head shirts. Get some parts, service, he does it all. Do all the shit, and we'll see you next time.